I'm doing a bit of glamping for a change. I decided to have a few nights away with me being uh, off work this week. And yeah, I booked a yurt. It's at Bullington Hall down Lincolnshire Way. Yeah, let's have a look inside, eh? Whoa. There's two double beds and then a sofa bed. So I'm using that bed. I say double bed, it's a big single really. I'm using that one just for my clothes and stuff like that. Gonna be sleeping in that one. That's my little table. There is a little table in here. Fireplace, kettle. There's a camping stove there and some gas. TV, lamp. Space to hang your clothes. Little dining table. There's a picnic stuff there, spare blanket. And then we're back round again. Oh, and a posh rug. It's all right for a change, isn't it? I'll show you the rest of the facilities here. There's the beast. Right. So up here, I'm assuming this is the old, you know, Bullington Hall. In all honesty, the grounds are a little bit dilapidated. Well, let's get over there. So in here, there's like a communal shower block. I say shower block, it's just a toilet and a shower and a sink really. Here we go. Oh, I've left the light on. Sink, toilet, it's all clean enough. It's a bit dirty at the minute because I've just been in and had a shower. But yeah, hot shower. Glamping. There's a little heater as well, just to warm the room up. And what there are here, are some other glamping facilities. You can just hear the road in the background. So there's that big TP there. There's a dome tent here. Some game stuff for the Kiddlywinks. And then there's a big green dome. I think this is on booking.com. I booked mine on booking.com reason I picked it was it was like 60 quid for a couple of nights so you got this big green dome as well cool huh gotta be honest though when you step inside here with it being plastic it is really really warm and I mean really warm But there's some nice facilities. And you get quite a nice view. And then, this is where I am, in the yurt. So my plan is to do a little bit of geocaching around Lincoln and Lincolnshire area. I'm going to go into Lincoln tomorrow. I might do the cathedral and the castle. And if I do, you'll get to see that, because I'll take you around. Just having a few days, a few days little break. 7.53, 18 degrees, it's quite cosy in here, and yet if we look through the door, oh, it's a very kind of misty, murky morning in the Lincolnshire countryside, and it is <laughs> just quite chilly out here. I'm parked up in sunny Lincoln, going to have a wander around, but I've just noticed there's a geocache about 70 metres nearby, 70 metres away, so I'm going to go and have a quick look for that first. This is a very Muggle-centric area, as you can see, but I've found it. First find, so easy. Yeah, I signed it, logged it, popped it back. Through there, you've got Lincoln Cathedral. There we go, look at that. And there's another cache quite close by, so I'm going to have a look. This is St. Benedict's Church. And I've already found the uh, a geocache in this area. The GPS for this one is way off. But thankfully, we develop a bit of a geocaching sensor to where people might hide things. Found it. Signed it, logged it, popped it back. Oh, 
scampy. Looks like the piper's packing up or counting his coins. Oh no, he's still at it. Up here. It's time for a little filth. <laughs> Two hundred and sixty meters to go. I think we've got to climb that steep hill in a minute. Probably good that I don't have the uh, lapel mic on today. Can't hear me heavy breathing quite as much. Getting there. Found it. But where exactly was it? Because it wasn't there. Signed it, logged it, popped it back. Let's have a look over there. This nice little church here. Oh, it does say staff only on that gate. So we won't go in there then. Right, there's one up near the cathedral, about 170 metres away. Let's get looking. It would normally be quite a good view from the steep hill here across the uh, Lincolnshire Wolds and stuff, but not today. Quite quaint these streets. They remind me a lot of York. So at the top of Steep Hill here, over there you've got Lincoln Castle, and then as we pan round, that's Bale Gate, and then yeah, got the cathedral here. And we need to enter the grounds to find the cash. I bet this is going to look quite spectacular as we come through here. Are you ready? Look at that. It is such a big fascia, this one. Great location for caching, right? What, 35 metres away? Found it! But where was it? You're going to come and have a look? It's up near Lincoln Cathedral. Right, I've signed it, logged it, popped it back. There's another one about 150 metres away, 170 I should say. So we're going to have a look for that in a minute anyway. Might as well at least have a look around here first, eh? Yeah, let's go and have a look in. See, uh, see if we can have a nosy round, eh? All right, it was just a quick nosy round. Unfortunately, I might have mentioned it. Done that daft thing this weekend where I left my wallet at home. Uh, and yeah, you've got to pay to nosy round. So we're not doing that. Not today. And it's about 84 metres down here, I reckon. Found it. Signed it, logged it, popped it back. Right, there's another one about 230 metres away called Take the Weight Off Your Feet, which might be good, might get a chance for a sit down. You know, it struck me that I hadn't really paid attention to where I parked the car, and each one of these caches takes me further and further away. However, on the plus side, because a couple of the geocaches were really close to where I parked the car, all I have to do is log into the app and navigate to one of those. Winner! Top tips from more than just a cleaner. How to find your car when you're out geocaching. No, they're not. Oh, shall we go through here? We're only about 40 metres away. Found it. Tell you what, in Lincoln, they seem to like these magnetic nanos. <laughs> Signed it, logged it, popped it back. Next one is called Off the Wall. Yep, off the walls, about 200 metres away. All right, let's go. Thought we were going down there, but we're not. We're going down here, about 130 metres. Getting a right little explorer of Lincoln today. Oh, look, there's a bit of the castle coming into view. I think it's the castle. It's got a lot of masts on and stuff. Yeah, it must be. Now according to this, I need to head down here. Found it. Signed it, logged it, popped it back. 
I'm now cashing my way back to the car, heading towards one about 230 metres away called Westgate. Yeah, that thing that I saw wasn't a castle after all. <laughs> it's a chapel. Nice one, Carlos. The Strugglers Inn, eh? Right, now this was a weird one, because I have found it, obviously, it's in my hand. And the coordinates had been changed by the CO, because I think it had been a bit too obvious where it was. However, where I found it was in the correct coordinates, but it was actually on the floor. So it had been knocked off at some point. So anyway, I'll sign this up and put it back, and let the CO know. Right, so there were some issues with that one, but I've signed it, logged it, popped it back, and I've informed the CO of the issues. Next one is called Lil Dor, it's about 300 metres away. Now what I found fascinating today is several of these caches that I've got, the previous logs have been DNFs. I think um, this, I think I've found two or three so far. The next one has a DNF too, whereas the logs prior to that were all fines. So I'm hopeful that I'll find this one too. In fact, just out of curiosity, is anybody else put off when they see a single DNF in the activity log because I know it sometimes puts me off. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on that. This is a steep drop but considering we came up steep hill to get to this height hardly surprising really. So we've got to come down this little alley. There is quite a good view over the top there. Running up here that's just showing off. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not going down here on a wet day with funny shoes. <laughs> I think this might be a bit slippery and treacherous. That's level. Yeah, quite steep. Not sure if this camera will pick it up, but looks quite good over there with the sun coming through the clouds. Some rays coming down. Found it. Wasn't there though. Where was it? Little door in Lincoln. Kind of like that, but not that. Okay, signed that, logged it, popped it back. Next one's called the Brayford. This will take me up to 130 today if I find this. It also takes me back to roughly where I've parked the car. So I've done a quite a nice circular loop today. If I get this one, I think it'll be nine finds today, which will be a bit of a record for me. Yeah. But in the meantime, still going down this hill. City Hall, I think. Yep. Lincoln Public Services Hub. That wasn't really a very exciting thing to show you really, was it? Look, you can't have everything. There you go, another exciting building. Streets Chartered Accountants. And look at that, Lucy Tower Car Park. Do I just bring you to all the best places? <laughs> the joys of geocaching. All right, this might be a bit more worth it. So this is the Brayford. And it's along here somewhere. Actually, the first cache I did was directly over there. And my car is parked just through there, so that's good to know. Kind of good to get a kayak on here though, wouldn't it? Now, I do have a good idea where I'm going to find this. Only snag is, there's a couple of young teenage muggles sat right near where I want to be. They're not showing any signs of moving at the moment. So I'm going to go and get some stuff to eat when I'm back in the yurt tonight. Nope, not Tesco. We don't do Tesco. Well, I haven't found anywhere else to uh, find any food yet. And considering I've walked right round the block, I'm having a sense of deja vu. You'll get what I mean in a minute. Yep. Deja vu. <laughs> I feel like I've been here before. Well, unfortunately, those two young ladies, <laughs> they're still there. They're in front of that chap walking now. If I just move across, there we go. So I'm just going to have to go for it. Because I think I know exactly what I'm looking for and where it is. And I think I should just do a quick grab. I can't. I can't get it without looking too weird. And suspicious. That's where they were sat and thankfully they've moved off so I can now look like I am doing some filming of this notice board while I retrieve the cache. It's one of those nice little bolt ones. Cool huh? Signed it, logged it, popped it back. 
And now to head back to the car. Quite a clever sculpture that, I hadn't realised what it was before. It's a water clock. Right, I'm back at the filthy motor. <laughs> Quite enjoyed myself today. My intention initially when I came to Lincoln was to go around the cathedral and the castle, that kind of thing. However, having forgot my wallet, I've decided to focus more on geocaching. So I've done 10 caches today and I'm quite chuffed with that. I'm going to grab some food now and head back to uh, the yurt. Yeah, good day. Right, got back to the yurt. Got a table full of treats here. Got a bit of sushi, some chili and coriander prawns and some egg mayonnaise sandwiches, popcorn, wine, bananas and all sorts of other treaty stuff. I've had a really good day today. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. For me, this has been a proper geocaching adventure, really. Full day, sort of like having a go at it. I've really quite enjoyed myself. So I hope you've enjoyed it too. If you have enjoyed it, you know what to do. If you haven't enjoyed it, you know what to do. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, by all means subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Uh, by all means subscribe and hit the bell. The bell. Because uh, all it means is you get a notification whenever you open YouTube, whenever I've uploaded any new videos. That's all for now. You take care of yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Cheerio.